after a long night of meting punishment on my heartless betrayer. <laughs> my poor battered body. You better not kill our key. You are one to talk. Better not eat the boy. He's your precious key now. I know. Oh? You're facing the Shepherd and an Empyrean. Old Shepsy's one thing, but Empyreans are, you know, just gods who created the world. You think you can win just by smacking it around a bit? That's no Empyrean. It's a phony. Artorius is just using a legend to control the people. Wouldn't a true god be able to do something about the demon blight? <sighs> you don't believe in a Nominat? I believe there exists something people call a Nominat. But it's just a Moloch that used a special art to bring the other Molochim into our world. You sound confident. I witnessed it three years ago. Well, if it's not actually a god we're against, we just might stand a chance. Of course we do. And ultimately... Our target is Artorius. I don't care about anything else. Revenge against Artorius. For her brother. All right, Lafayette. Which way is the Empyrean's throne? Um, it was north of Logris, in the mountains up the Danan Highway. If exorcists are keeping up their inspections, they might provide us a chance to steal another Moloch. I sent my men a Sylphje with orders to scout out the inspectors. With their information, we'll be able to plan the attack. Hmm. We can meet up at Port Zexen. That's the plan. All right. Those silk jays are handy little birds, aren't they? Not only will they always find their destination, they can make for emergency rations in a pinch. I hear grilled silk jay goes rather well with a nice glass of the hard stuff. It's because of the work those birds do for us that we're able to stay one step ahead of the Abbey. Those birds are indispensable to us pirates, and we consider them a part of our crew. Don't even joke about eating them. <laughs> all right, all right. Still, I wonder how they actually do their thing. I know that carrier pigeons rely on their homing instincts, but sylph jays can locate a person wherever they are, right? They're really smart birds. I read in a book that rather than memorizing locations, they can pick up on people's wavelengths. When you send out a sylph jay, the bird can sense the change in your thoughts and will seek out the recipient you have in mind. I hardly ever see them in the wild. Are they a kind of Moloch or something? No, they're not Molochim. They're just an incredibly rare species native to an island in the north. It's a funny story. A chance storm sent us docking at that island. And a mother sylph jay got blown onto our ship, eggs, nest, and all. Sadly, the mother bird died almost immediately. But Benwick stepped in and kept her eggs safe and warm. So that's why they're so attached to him. Usually, they're really hard to train as messenger birds, too. That's Benwick for you. He's always had a knack for things that would give other people trouble. Maybe when they hatched, they took one look at his wild hair and mistook him for their mother. You know what? comfortable enough for them to use his head for their nest. So you might have a point. Now that you mention it, he did ask me not to hit him on the head, because one of the sylph jays just laid her eggs. Well, if more birds are on the way, we could just eat one to see how it tastes. No! Don't even think about it! <laughs> it was worth a try. All right, we need life bottles amid. Holy shit, we used every fucking life bottle we had, guys. Josh, shit. Don't say it. I hear the high priest was injured and will be recuperating somewhere for the near future. The church is saying he was cleaning his villa when something fell off a shelf and hit him. 
But there's also rumors that thieves snuck into the palace and attacked him. If that's true, who could have done it? He's always been there for the people, and everyone looks up to him. What a terrible rumor. Indeed. I want to believe it's just that, a rumor. But it's got the children all frightened. I'm not scared at all! Liar! Sis saw you crying! I'm the one who's not scared at all! If any bad guys show up, I'll handle them! Ooh, scary. I'm sure bad guys won't come near you. Something fell off a shelf? Nice. They're doing a really good job of covering this up. If it got out that the High Priest was murdered, and in the castle of all places, the people would lose faith in the government. Hmm. That's the Remember you? I'd never forget someone dressed as weird as you guys. <laughs> You're those traveling misfits, the ones who did that job act in Logris. Mad Lou's menagerie, right? It's Moggy Lou's menagerie. Get it right or pay the price. So, you saw us in Logris? That's right. I was there on Port Zexon business. I really looked forward to seeing you perform, but it never happened. But today's my lucky day. How about performing here in Port Zexon tomorrow? I want to see that sullen girl go coo again. It was hilarious. And that magician's dove trick, too. <laughs> sure, but I'll have you know we don't come cheap. Oh, I've got the money. I'd pay anything to see that again. No. Oh, come on, please. Take a hint. Hey, now, don't be like that. Sorry, friend. Best give it up. Otherwise, my apprentice here might show you a special trick she's been itching to practice. One where she makes you disappear. Ooh, that sounds fun. Do it. If you insist. But just a warning. There's no guarantee you'll make it back. Still want to try? Wait, seriously? Seriously. And remember, it's Moggy Lou's menagerie. See you at our next show. <laughs> Do it. Right here. Let's go. Fucking 1v1. Look, listen. 1v1 me. Right here, right now. Let's do it. Right now let's go one v one me <laughs> all right well, let's stop man render views with the scouts at port zets hello again i'm the edfu amalek nice to meet you all just so you know i'm a greater Moloch. okay you're a greater Moloch too lucky set i'm sure we'll get along great i'm classified as a greater Moloch? That should be no surprise. You've got a lot of power, despite your appearance. You're a greater Moloch too, aren't you, Aizen? So I've been told. But I can't say I care for measures made by folks who tether my kind. I didn't know that's what it was. I'm sorry. No, don't worry about it. Just promise me you won't judge your own value from a label given to you by others. I won't. I promise. <laughs> what if that's all that gives me self <laughs> They're pirates and demons. Pay them no heed. To me, you are the greatest of all. The greatest? Do you really mean it? Oh, Miss Moggy Lou, you're so kind. You've changed so much since I left. But you haven't changed at all. You are eternally my greatest servant. Oh, I don't want to be the greatest then. Oh, this is bad, bad. 
<laughs> and our roster of the oblivious grows longer. We are very, very, very weird people. Alright, so this is what we're gonna... Oh, some more people. I don't, I don't want to, man. I just don't feel like talking. I'm oh, sorry, guys. I don't want to talk to him. Not right now. I'll come back and talk to him. I don't want to just play now. We're to meet up with the scouts at Port Zexum. Alright. What's the matter, Lafayette? You look like you're not feeling well. Doesn't he always? You can stay out. Take a sip of water here. You're a demon swordsman. Aizen is a cursed mala. Mahilu is a bizarre witch. But what am I? <laughs> Turning existential here. You're Velvet's tool and emergency rations, aren't you? That's what Lady Teresa called me too. A tool. But I'm alive. Ah, uh, I get it. You're starting to wonder what your place in the world is. In that case, there's only one answer. You have to decide it. Huh? It's all up to you. It depends on what you want. That's what it means to be alive. You control the rudder of your life. Your hands on the wheel. My life. My rudder. Doubts are okay, too. They're just further proof you're alive. I'll protect you until you find your answer. Your arts have helped me often enough. All right. I don't really understand. But thank you. Pretty, pretty words and all. But take care who you listen to, kid. Demons and Reapers, remember? I hear there's a wicked witch about, too. Get going or get left behind. Ah! We risk the wrath of the revenging reprobate! For now, let our rudders take us forward! Let's have this girl walk this way. Huh? I save these save point just to Did the Sylph J reach your men? Yeah, they're scouting the checkpoints. They're not back yet? No, but they won't be long. Let's rest for a bit. I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. We'll rest until the scouts are back then. We have now rested. No way. You managed to get some? Shh, idiot. Not so loud. Behold, the finest drink there is, Ilyanya Red. If Benwick and the others find out we have it, they'll drink the whole thing. Wait, you didn't tell them about it? Of course not. Those guys couldn't care less what they stuffed down their gullets, as long as it gets the job done. The subtle notes of this exquisite libation would be lost on those louts. Well said. Now, I believe some Rucarella cheese would compliment this Ilyanya nicely. We'll have to hide the bottle until we can get our hands on some. <laughs> Leave that to me. Wow, talk about oblivious. <laughs> I gave the boy an apple too. Aren't I the kindest girl alive? An apple. Would you like one? This time I want you to crow like a No, thank you. Miss, are you really planning to fight Artorius? 
Well, the boy did ask me so sweetly. But you'd have no chance! Are you defying me? Did the old man give you orders? Not at all! Then you're coming with me. If things get too hot, we can run. And if we die, then... That's that! I know! You're a quick one, little Bienfu. But I do hope you'll struggle as long as possible. I need you around for when I'm bored, after all. Mm -hmm. I don't want me for saying Trev Michael, man. I feel like she's working something else up. Is it good? It's tart, and yet sweet. No thanks. I wouldn't be able to taste it anyway. Oh. You sure like the sea? I... I'm afraid of the sea. The waves. Sharks. All this strange fish. But at the same time... It's huge, and full of wonder. When I let myself think about what might be over the horizon... It's exciting. My brother... He loved the sea, too. Your brother? Really? He'd sit on the cape, just staring at it. I told him he'd catch cold in that ocean wind. But he never listened to a word I said. Your way of looking at the world is so much like his. I wish... I wish I'd bought him that compass. I wish we could have traveled together like he wanted. The scouts are back, everyone! Lafisat, you know you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I... I'm going with you, Velvet. I see. say he was using a pendulum? Aye, sir. And he blasted all the inspectors. I think he'd be a match for even the captain. Thank you. I'll look into this for myself. Hold it. What's going on? The exorcist inspection team was attacked by a pendulum-wielding Moloch. The same type of weapon was found at the place the captain banished from. And so you think the attacker is the one who took the captain? I don't know. But this can't be coincidence. Eifried is in the custody of exorcists. Why would they attack their own? What will you do? One of your keys is running off. I'm going after him. If they're already in disarray, causing more confusion will only benefit us. Pandemonium! My favorite! Right. He sure picked an inconvenient time to run off, though, didn't he? I can't blame him. He's got his own purpose. Hmm.
this is this is here something. Holy shit. Well, you're good, whoever you are. I'm Aizen, the Reaper, and Eifried's first mate. A buddy of Eifried's? Oh, this'll be too good. So you are the one who took Captain Eifried from us. Oh, yeah, that's the spirit, pal. Aizen, calm yourself. He's a Moloch, and he's against the Abbey. If we work together, we can pass the barrier. Don't give me your peacemaking crap. I'm settling this my way. Right here, right now. Stay out of this! I see. Well, two can play at that game. I'll handle this in my way. I'll beat you both until you're helpless. Then open that barrier. Why does it have to be like this? Be quiet and help, Velvet. Otherwise, she'll bite our heads off. True. Forgive us, Isaac. Yeah. What is he wishing us? Earth. Oh Jesus. Woo! That was actually pretty good. Yeah, weakness against dirt. Damn it! God damn it! Okay. Damn it! 
playing like shit, man. Might be time me to just stop. What's your plan after you bust through this barrier? Kill the shepherd. Damn, that's a new one. She's dead serious. All right, all right. You won the fight. What do you want me to do? Are you ready, my merry little Malakim? Now, line up before the barrier. <laughs> The rest is up to you. I just want to see the panic on the exorcist's faces. Hold it. I still have questions for you. That's enough for now, Aizen. If you persist, one of us will end up dead. <clears throat> Who are you? Tell me. Zavid the Whirlwind. A fire, yep. nothing more. The barrier is gone. I won't stop you from going after him. No. I walk with you. Besides, Melchior is still my surest link to Eifried's whereabouts. <laughs> Could have saved a lot of trouble if you'd listened to me from the start. If I had good judgment, I wouldn't be where I am in the first place. Right. You really are a fool. Definitely got to do a lot of training. I am dying left and right now. Terrible fight, but we won. Alright guys, man. We're going to call the stops for today. Apparently, I'm, I'm playing like shit now, so <laughs> let's go in it on a high note here. Alright guys, I'll see you guys later, alright? Bye!